One thing that I love about next generation consoles is the ability just to download easy and fun games so you can pick up and play when you want. Uh, personally, one of my favorites was Outland. Now this one kind of made it under the radar, but if you played it, you're probably going to agree with me that this was so good. It was a platformer adventure game where you switched between being a red version of you or a blue version of you. So if you were blue, you can kill the red bad guys and you were immune to blue bad guys. And then vice versa, when you were red, kill the blue immune by... Yeah, anyways, it was a pretty cool story. You had great power-ups the entire time. It was challenging, not just because of the, the, the difficulty of the gameplay, but also because, like... There would be moments where, let's say you're jumping over through a section and you have to like switch between red and blue really fast so that you can actually become immune to what you're running through at the same time. It, it kept you on your toes, it was a beautiful game, a beautiful game. That's actually my favorite thing about arcade games is, is the art design in them. They're, they're great. And this was a classic example of it. If you haven't played it, download it immediately. Uh, Jovan mentioned Outland. I have to agree, Outland was an amazing game. I think he probably explained how it works, but later on in Outland, some of those puzzles in the platforming sections became incredibly difficult in terms of having to change back and forth between the different colors to make your way through the level and use all the different mechanics you'd picked up along the way. And then just the last boss fight was sort of the culmination of every mechanic they'd added to the game. And it was sort of this mixture of like you were platforming around this rotating thing that was going around the boss in the middle and he or she or whatever the spirit thing is is shooting out all these different balls of light and you have to constantly be changing back and forth. It was super intense and it was one of the most creative games I've ever played. It was very excellent. Uh, let's see, good downloadable games. Well here's one uh, that you guys keep asking us to play, Minecraft. I actually, I do play it a little bit and it's downloadable. I know it's originally for the PC and it's an indie game on the PC, but they made a downloadable version uh, for Xbox Live and I downloaded it and I've played, uh, some of you watch my stream, most of you don't but I played a little bit on the stream. Uh, it does make me rage sometimes when I get blown up and I lose all my stuff, but it's also really good for just a, a, a time killer. You know, you build stuff and there are zombies and stuff walking around. I like it. I actually like Minecraft. Uh, I don't really do it here on this channel. Uh, I think some of the other guys have a problem with that game. And, uh, you know, and there's also a lot of other channels doing that game too. So maybe once the hype dies down a little bit, we'll go back and revisit it. But, uh, but right now we, uh, we're not doing very much Minecraft, so. That's the way it is. Yeah, this one's probably, you, you saw this one coming. I'm going to talk about Magic the Gathering, uh, the Planeswalkers in 2012 and 2013, and just all those that came out. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention, I'm a huge Magic the Gathering fan, and to be able to just pick up and play against the computer whenever I want with other pre-made decks is actually really, it's really neat. Yes, there's, there's not the, you can't customize your own decks with your own colors, but I actually wound up playing with some colors that I normally would have never played with in a deck and it's really kind of expanded. And again, it's just one of those things where you can just pick it up and play a few rounds, go to sleep and just yell at your game because anytime you try to put down a creature, the stupid blue deck just keeps countering everything you do. But whatever, it's still fun and I love it. It's great, it's Magic the Gathering, it's a classic, almost 20 years. And then of course I gotta mention Dota 2. Uh, just, no, just kidding, I'm not actually going to talk about Dota 2. No, what I actually want to talk about is there's a game called The Dishwasher Vampire Smile. It was actually the second one in the series, uh, but you played as this weird sort of samurai girl, and it was just sort of a hack and slash 2D game, but the story was so twisted and interesting. You were like in a mental asylum, and then you kind of like go crazy and, and then start murdering everyone, but you go into this sort of fantastical world, and you're not really sure whether it's just sort of the girl's mind or if you're actually just like in this crazy land, but but you hack and slash all these robots and people apart, and it's just super messed up. Uh, but it looks kind of cartoony. It's like very cartoony at the same time. So I, I don't know what what about it made it so good. It was just really sort of dark and mysterious. It had a good vibe to it, and the hack and slash mechanic of it worked great. You had all these different weapons you could choose from, like a giant pair of scissors or a huge needle and just all these weird things, but yeah, it was a really good game. How about Doritos Crash Course? That's a good one, that's a free game. You can just download it for free and play it. And there's all sorts of wacky obstacles. I was actually on American Ninja Warrior once, uh, and that was a lot of fun, and this is kind of like that. It's, you gotta go through like all these obstacles and cr crazy hammers and stuff come at you, and you can float on fans. It's a really fun game, and there's a bunch of levels, and Doritos just made it for free. They're like, F it, we're Doritos, we do what we want. We make. We make uh, taco shells now and video games, apparently. They, they're Doritos, they don't care, they got a billion dollars. They do what they want and they made a pretty good game. And you play it for free. Check it out. Now this one's going back a few years, but still, I love to play it when uh, when we got friends over. Uh, Geometry Wars 2. So Geometry Wars Evolved, or, or whatever it was. Just the music was awesome, the lights, the colors, the sounds, the explosions. 
Uh, I, I loved, like, there were so many different modes you can play in. So you had your classic mode, that was great. But there was one that was wave. And so you had, like, you just this little, the, the little triangle shapes would just kind of fly across the screen. You had to try to avoid all of them. And there were some, like, achievements that were hidden inside of the gameplay that wasn't, that you'd unlock by playing it a little bit differently. So in the waves one, instead of killing everything, you actually just avoid them. You have to leaf on the wind and just kind of, like, get around all of them for, like, eight waves. It, it was cool. Um, it just, and then you had like the co-op play. I wish, I wish it had like online play also so you can like meet up with your friends and just be like, all right, let's blow up some shapes. Uh, yeah, just space, shapes, explosions, win. And then finally, I got to talk about a game that I played recently called uh, Hotline Miami. For those of you that didn't see my review, check it out, it's on the channel. It's this top-down shooter, and it's sort of this, this interesting thing where you can die just as easily as any of the enemies can die. So it's sort of a one-hit kill on both ends. So the strategy in terms of how you go through the levels is interesting, and sort of uh, making your way through whether or not you decide to use guns and alert people or use stealth takedowns. Uh, but it's a really good game. The music is absolutely incredible, which I'm not sure if I even mentioned in my review, but the music's insanely good. It just really, really sort of captured that nostalgic uh, old video game vibe, so I was really digging Hotline Miami. Worms Armageddon is in the Xbox Live Arcade. That's a fun one. Uh, it's a bunch of little worms running around with modern weapons, bazookas and grenades and stuff. We did it on a game bang. Uh, it's really fun, especially if you, for those out there who like turn-based games. Sick of all this real-time nonsense, want to slow things down, get a nice turn-based game going. And uh, the maps are really cool. You can burrow through any part of the map or blow any part of the map up with the right weapon and call in airstrikes and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And seeing worms with no arms and operating heavy weapons is just adorable. I love it. Yeah, I, I play video games right before going to sleep. Uh, that might be why I'm single. Or it might be why I'm awesome. 